So hopefully we can push these guys back a little bit and uh, show you guys the base capture. That's the signal for them to let us push up. built out most of these uh, most of these areas using all kinds of learnings from modern AFPS uh, level design too. So we have these, as uh, Josh mentioned earlier, really handcrafted areas. Rather than just having a large uh, you know, height field that doesn't really have any kind of interesting gameplay areas in it, um, every square inch of our map is designed with gameplay in mind, and all of it will be play tested, and all of it will support just different types of gameplay. So, I mentioned earlier that, uh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna go hide. I'm gonna go someplace safe and then talk to you guys for a second. Um, I mentioned earlier that uh, each one of the capture points has its own region around it. Here's our map. Um, this is just one continent. And I'll start turning on some of the filters here so you can see what's going on. But uh, this is one continent on the map. We started off roughly here, and uh, we were fighting around here in that air battle and then we drove down here. So throughout the course of the demo so far, you guys have seen about, I don't know, one twentieth of the entire map. And uh, you guys will notice that each one of these regions that gets highlighted, these areas can all be owned by the different empires. They're color coded based on the empire that owns them currently. Uh, we're fighting over this one in particular. And the way this is set up is, uh, as I own these pieces of territory, I get bonuses towards capturing pieces that are adjacent. So you have an always moving front line that's constantly getting updated. You're fighting in different areas of the map all the time. Again, you're fighting over the resources too. So you'll be looking at that map and figuring out what type of resources that you need, uh, what type of resources you want to deny your enemy. I'm a light assault character, so I can actually drop my own down. So as soon as we manage to capture the space, oh, I don't feel like I'm going to the street. Ah. Oh, as soon as we manage to capture the space, we'll own this piece of territory and start gaining resources from it. And again, we'll be able to use those resources to do all kinds of cool stuff, from uh, uh, unlocking different red dot sites, uh, unlocking different side grades of weapons, all that jazz. fairly normal, uh, but our screen we actually surface a whole Use bunch of really cool here. stats. Just a surface a whole bunch of really cool stats like uh, your lifetime kills, lifetime deaths, your lifetime kill death ratio. You can also see over time the way that you've improved. Um, we think this is really meaningful for people to get a, a sense of getting better at playing the game. So I can see that over the last week or so as we've been practicing this demo, I've actually gotten a little bit better and I've started having uh, more kills. Uh, I guess my kill death ratio today is not that good because I kept crashing into the trees earlier. Um, but you know, you can see all these things over time. But I can also see the way it's split amongst the different empires. I can see how many kills I've gotten against uh, the different empires that I'm fighting against. 
against the different, uh, uh, like how many times I've died, how many facilities I've captured against these different empires, all this sort of stuff uh, that really helps you reinforce what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong in the game, so you can learn how to play the game better. Um, we also have the same thing for weapons, similar to uh, similar to what you would see in, in a battlefield or a more modern warfare game. You can gain proficiency in the weapons and unlock different medals for getting kills in them. Uh, all that sort of stuff that really just kind of pushes you towards, uh, you know, continuing to use those weapons, continuing to, uh, uh, you know, level up and get better at using each of the weapons that you really enjoy.